this AI agent can do whatever you ask it to do from filling out forms, navigating websites, running code, scraping data to executing multi-step workflows and even connecting with MCP clients all with plain language. Well, that's exactly what this AI agent can do. And to be honest, this is what I would call a proper AI agent that can get things done. Well, I'm talking about Retriever AI, RTRVR.AI. And trust me, you'll be blown away by what this tool can actually do. And the recent updates make it even better and powerful at everything. So just go to Retriever.AI or just click on the link in description and then you can just access this tool in here you can use this tool directly in cloud or even you can install the chrome extension if you just click on this extension button you can just directly access this i agent directly in here on chrome web store then you can just install it here and then you can directly start using it as a chrome extension and in fact you can link this AI agent to your whatsapp as well we can just provide your whatsapp number in here and then you can just directly link this tool to your whatsapp but first let me just quickly show you that how you can use this tool on cloud so if you just click on this cloud button now you can select directly to use this tool inside your browser so i'm going to conduct a competitive analysis between different ai image generation tools so i have just prepared this detailed prompt where i provide these five different AI image generation tools and I just mentioned in this prompt perform a competitive feature analysis for the following five websites so these are five different AI image generation websites so I just mentioned in this prompt perform a competitive analysis for following five AI image generation websites and then I provided these five URLs and also mentioned for each site navigate to the provided URL and check which AI website is best for AI image generation and AI automation then compile all findings into a single structured mock report using company name as the main heading so i'll just press send and now you can see right now we are actually using this tool right here inside cloud inside our browser so right now it has already started working on this task so let's just wait for it. meanwhile i'll show you that how you can use this AI agent as a chrome extension inside your chrome browser so just go to this link i'll provide this link in description or you can just like look for retriever.ai web agent chrome extension you can just like look for this on google as well you can find this on google but just go to this page and then simply just click on add to chrome right now you can see i have already installed so it will be installed inside your chrome as a chrome extension and then what you can do you can just like click on this extensions icon in here on this top right and then you can just like make sure that it is already enabled you can just like pin this in your taskbar so then it will be shown just like this on your taskbar now it will appear here on this right side as a sidebar so you can now just give it a prompt so let's just try to give that same prompt that we gave on the web version so i'll just paste that prompt exact prompt in here press enter and now it will start performing that task we can see this is how it will work and now i will not touch my mouse what it will do it will automatically like use my mouse and like automatically navigate to different websites wherever it is required open different web pages wherever it is required so basically it will do everything by itself I will not be touching my mouse at all so right now you can see it has already opened this spreadsheet and then it added these urls inside this spreadsheet and now it is going to one by one like analyze all of these different websites and then rank these one by one so you can see on this top right it has just opened these four different urls so it is going to like open all of these urls one by one and then it is going to analyze all of these websites one by one now here's the most important thing you need to understand why this tool works like this why it has to exist natively on your browser and then act as an ai agent and then perform all of these tasks directly inside your browser why we cannot use all other like scraping tools where we can directly perform different tasks by just using those scraping tools but the thing is a lot of websites these days don't like their data to be scraped by these kind of like anonymous ai agents so this ai agent acts like a normal user then it opens different website and then it fetches data wherever it is required from just as a regular user it lives in your browser it can perform multi-step tasks and let's suppose if it requires to create spreadsheets it will automatically open the google spreadsheets and then automatically create spreadsheets for you just like this example in here you can see it has listed all of these five websites that it originally listed in this spreadsheet and now it has mentioned like it has created comments and basically detailed analysis for each of these websites in here so for ai automation and for image generation so it has analyzed all of these five websites and then shared its analysis in here in this spreadsheet not only that what it did it created this google document as well so inside this google document it shared its detailed analysis for each of these tools in here you can see right here you can see this is our prompt and here is the first step that it took it was creating a sheet which was ai image generation websites created with five data rows and then it 
visited all of those five different websites and then it created a Google document as well. So this is the Google document and this is the spreadsheet that it created. So I did not have to do anything. It just conducted that task automatically, autonomously while I was just like talking to you guys. So this tool basically can perform all sort of different tasks. It can automate different tasks. It can execute complex end-to-end -end tasks from a single prompt. It can also crawl web pages. It can also create documents and PDF files and it can also call APIs and MCP servers as well. Now let me just quickly give it more interesting task. So I can ask it to visit my LinkedIn profile, compose and publish a new post feature of AI in 2026. So that is going to be like title of this LinkedIn post. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to press enter and just see this tool in action. So what this tool will do, it will automatically open linkedin.com. Then it will just open my profile because my LinkedIn is already logged in. So it will just like open my LinkedIn profile. So right now you can see it has just opened LinkedIn and now it is going to go to my profile. And now let's just see if it can write and create and properly like compose a LinkedIn post. So it is right now just scrolling my LinkedIn feed. And right now you can see it has just opened that pop-up to write post. So let's just wait for it. So let's just see what it does next. Okay, perfect. There you go. You can see it has just created this LinkedIn post about future of AI in 2026. Now I can just like click on this post button or you can just like wait for it to click on this post button and then post this, but I don't want to post right now. So I'll just close this and I'll just like pause this task or maybe like cancel this task. Right. Another really good use case can be, let's suppose if you're shopping. So let's suppose right now I am on Amazon and I am looking for a mirrorless camera. Now I can just ask it to please find me a best mirrorless camera in under 500 pounds and it should have e mount so that's exactly what my requirement is i'll now press enter and we can see right now i'm already on this amazon page and i already searched for a mirrorless camera so just like quickly to execute a task so i already opened an amazon page and then i gave it this prompt and now let's just see how it will execute this task right we can see it is just opening all of the mirrorless cameras it will then do the price comparison and then it will shortlist the best cameras so it is still scrolling through different options and it is still looking for cameras which are cheaper than 500 pounds okay there you go you can see it has just created this spreadsheet and this spreadsheet includes all of the cameras all of the mirrorless cameras from amazon which are under 500 pounds you can see all of these different versions of these cameras and this is Sony CV10, this is Sony Alpha ILC5000, okay, so this is Sony A5000 and Sony A6000. All of these cameras are less than 500 pounds and all of these cameras have an E-mount where I can use my all of Sony's E-mount lenses. And you can see here it presented the detailed report, all of the results that it showed in this spreadsheet, it has already presented in here and it has also shared the link to this spreadsheet so that's amazing okay to be honest i use this ai agent as my personal assistant so just like good old days when i used to have like a dedicated remote personal assistant who used to do this kind of like tedious task so i think this ai agent can work as your personal ai assistant where you can just assign it a task then you can just like do something else and this ai agent will work on background and then present your results so just go ahead and give it a try and let me know in the comment section what you think about this amazing ai agent i see you next video bye, -bye.